How to crack English section in SSC CGL Tier 2? Hello dear students, all of you are aiming at a government job and a lot of you are preparing for SSC CGL exam 2017. A job or our career choices define our lives, hence we all need to make wise and informed choices. Jobs offered by SSC are very esteemed and prestigious. You all have a great shot at such wonderful and powerful jobs which will give you a sense of achievement in life. CGL exam is a three-tier process and the tier one exam has already been completed on 23rd August 2017. Now the next stage, that is tier two exam will be conducted in the month of November 2017. Just two months are left for the CGL tier two exam. There are total four papers in CGL tier two exam, namely paper one, numerical abilities, and paper two, English language and comprehension are compulsory for all candidates, but paper three, statistics, paper four, general studies, finance and economics are optional. Today, we will study the smart strategy to crack English section with highest marks. Before we start the strategy, we need to understand the exam paper, question types and the topics which carry more weightage. We divide SSC CGL Tier 2 English mainly into three parts. Section 1, Vocabulary. Section 2, Grammatical Section. Section 3, Comprehensive Section. Section 1, Vocabulary Section. This section is very interesting because you can easily score maximum marks in vocab section. All you need to do is just read English newspaper, magazine or any article written in standard English. Once you understand the literal and figurative meaning of the English words, it would be easier to answer correctly all the questions based on synonyms, antonyms, one word substitutions and idioms or phrases. The only trick is to revise it daily without fail. The revision should be very intense and exhaustive. We have provided the Hindu newspaper editorial vocabulary. Read all these words daily, just 30 minutes and you will cover more than 100 words. You will find all these words in the exam. For one word substitutions and idioms, we have provided all important and previous year questions. You can answer correctly after solving these quizzes on Adda 247 app. Section 2, Grammatical Section. Grammatical part solely depends on rules. Once you remember and understand all the important rules, this part can be cracked very easily. Again, revision is the key here as well. Most of the grammatical part is made of parts of speech. You need to once go through all the parts of speech. This grammatical part plays an indispensable role in every type of question in English. Learn all the tenses and its usage. Conditional sentences. In every exam, questions are asked from the topic in the form of fillers, error detection or sentence improvements. We have provided study notes on all grammatical parts and tenses. Study these notes and attempt all the error detection and fill in the blanks questions correctly. If you are studying noun, then learn all the rules regarding nouns and you can correct all the questions right away. Section 3, Comprehensive Section. For these types of questions, you need to solve five comprehensions and close tests daily. Such questions are asked to check your understanding of English language, especially your reading habits. If you are used to reading books, novels, etc. in English language, then it will come naturally to you. You can easily understand the context and you can answer all the questions based on it. The important trick is to read the questions first so that you can understand the context of the paragraph beforehand while you read the passage very first time you will find the answer to all the questions which you have already read. In this way, you can save precious time by not reading passage all over again for each question. When you study in the remaining days, follow this trick. It will help you tremendously. Let's take a look at the topic and the number of questions they have. Spot the error, 20. Fill in the blanks, 5. Synonyms, 3. Antonyms, 3. Spelling or detecting misspelled words, 3. Idioms and phrases, 10. One word substitutions, 14. Improvement of sentences, 22. Active or passive voices of verbs, 
20, conversion into direct or indirect narration 26, jumbled paragraph 20, closed passage 24, comprehension passage 30. So there are total 200 questions. Well, as you can see in the above table, the weightage topics are spot the error, improvement of sentences, active or passive voices of verbs, conversion into direct or indirect narration, jumbled paragraph, closed passage, idioms and phrases, one word substitutions. You need to give special attention to these topics. Practice and keep revising all the rules and tricks so that you can be prepared for the CGL tier 2 exam completely. Now, let's discuss the tricks and approach for above mentioned topics in detail. The important tips for idioms are, if you see an idiom in context that is in a magazine, newspaper or a book, try to understand the context and this will help you with the idiom. Keep an idioms diary. Every time you hear an idiom or read one, write it down, but then make sure you can look it up at home in our dictionary, English dictionary for learners, and to write it in a sentence, otherwise you will forget the meaning. Try to see the idiom in your mind. Can you see the image? Many idioms are made of images. Try to imagine them and this will help you remember them by seeing the pictures in your mind. Use the idioms you have learned in everyday life. The important tips for active or passive are recognizing the active structure. Not all sentences can be changed to the passive voice. Only an active voice sentence with a direct object can be made passive. Make the object the subject. Restructuring the active to the passive includes two major changes in a sentence's structure. The first is taking the direct object of the active verb or sentence and making it the subject of the passive sentence. Once you can correctly identify the direct object in an active sentence, you should be able to easily determine the subject of the passive sentence. When changing an active sentence to a passive sentence, the tense of the verb changes. Every passive sentence contains a be verb. To change an active verb into a passive verb, use the correct form of be and the past participle of the original active verb. The important tips for sentence improvement are for such types of questions, you need to have a good understanding of tenses, prepositions, phrasal verbs, and idiomatic expressions. And most importantly, you need to have a good reading habits. If you read a lot, you can easily understand the context and can correct any wrong usage in a sentence. So clear all the concepts regarding these points. We will update more tricks and approach for the remaining topics. Till then, keep studying with Ada247. We wish you good health and success in the exams. One important tip, eat healthy, exercise daily, and have a positive approach towards life. If you feel good about yourself, you can accomplish anything. So stay cool, stay positive, and stay with Ada247.